Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. So I'm up at the property, I'm doing a little bit of turkey hunting. Haven't had any luck with turkeys, but I've also been trapping some raccoons and I just shot a couple hogs. So y'all can catch some of that video uh, up here. I'll put a card for it and you can watch it there or I'll put a link in the description as well. But what this video is gonna be about is I'm gonna be unboxing and setting up this two-man tree stand from Game Winner. I really enjoy the Game Winner stuff. I have a couple of their tripods and a couple of their two-man quad pods as well. But I've got a spot that I like on a trail where I think a tree stand would work a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up here in the garage as much as I can. And then we'll move out to where I'm going to install it uh, once I set it up some. And I feel like the rest I can do out there. So I'm going to go ahead and get started unboxing this and uh, stay tuned. One thing I like about these is they pack them up nice and neatly. They label everything. It's pretty easy instructions to follow as well. So uh, that's one of the reasons I really enjoy these game winner stands. All right, so I usually like to start by just setting everything out. Uh, they all, they're they numbered, so if you want to put them in order, you can. What I really like about the game winner is uh, they label their bags. So this is step 10. So I usually just take the hardware and I'll go ahead and put them in order. They pretty much give you everything you need. Uh, however, these wrenches aren't that great, so I usually just go get a ratchet um, and use my own wrench because it just makes things a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So the first thing it says on here is to make sure you do not over tighten the hardware and lead the structural damage. All right, so step one is taking the seating platform and installing it to the supports, so number one and number four. So this is item four, get bag number one. So you've got four bolts in here. And it looks like the long side will go on the bottom of this guy. But to make this easier, I'm gonna flip it over and we will install it this way. So there's three holes on this number four piece, it looks like. You're going to use the two closest to the bend here. So we'll go ahead and do that. So in the hardware, it usually has two washers and a nut. Uh, you'll leave one washer on the bolt, and one will come on and be on the other side of the nut. You can either tighten that down now or wait and do this other side and then tighten all four down. So that's step one. Step two is the standing platform, which is number two. So you need this, and then it says number 22, which is the two shelf support tubes. Grab the step two bag. So it goes through the standing platform, through your uh, number, what's it? Number four item and then through this number 22 pole. So if you get one bolt installed, it'll make the other ones a little bit easier. All right. So now we will tighten those down. Okay. Step two is done. Step three is insert mesh shelf. Number 21 into the two tubes. You just, on these two tubes that are labeled 22, You'll slide this in. If you're working with it upside down, make sure you put this on upside down as well. Step four, locate the tree brace number eight. These are your tree braces here. Put that rugged edge on the end. Arrow is gonna face the same way as kind of the other arrows. When I say arrow, I'm talking about kind of there, so pointing that way. So everything's kind of pointing in towards the bar in here. So again, this is upside down. So for us, it's gonna go on the bottom here. And there's two holes here on this thing. We're using the outside hole. 
So I got that tightened down. So step four is over. Step five is attaching some brackets, it looks like. So locate two seating and standing platform, platform connect bars number 10 and two accessory hooks number 12. Or sorry, 5A is basically installing this guy. Yeah, it's going to need to go in the two holes that are, there's three holes on here. They'll go in the front two, or the two facing the camera. Now we'll go on to 5B, which is installing the accessory hooks. So it looks like the accessory hook goes here on the outside. So you'll need your uh, number 11 here instead of the 13 millimeter. These are smaller bolts. Step 5 is done. Step 6 is your armrest. So you'll need number 3. These are your armrests. They are identical. So there's two holes on either side for these. You want this bar here facing the back towards me. Alright, so step six is done. So we'll go on to step seven. So seven is the backrest, which is number five, which is this guy. It looks like the frame goes inside. Alright, so that's step seven. Step eight is locate the two shooting rail support bars, which is number eleven. So for step eight, you need these guys here. There's two of those. Then you also need the step eight package. So this one's slightly uh, confusing on how to do it. So you're gonna take your bolt, you use one of your washers, your orange washer. This is facing up. So you start to enter that. You have these other washers to have like a little you know, lip on it, that's supposed to go inside here, so I'll kind of show y'all. This guy has this lip on it that goes inside like that so that it can spin freely. And then there's one on both sides, so you have to make sure you install those correctly. And then there's also a washer on the outside. Apologies, my uh, camera died. I had to pull these off from step uh, eight here because these bushings had to slide on first. So I slid these bushings on with the knob facing inward. It's hard to tell in the picture if that's uh, correct, so we'll see. Well, we will jump to step nine which is the shooting rail itself. So the shooting rail will just slide in just like this. And it has two bolts to lock that in. And this is using the smaller uh, bolts here again. And the bolt will go in from the top. So I think these knobs actually allow you to adjust the shooting rail is what it looks like. If you have them all the way out here, it can sit flat. If you lift up, you know, the further you bring it in, the higher it will it'll raise up so if you do that so that's step nine step ten looks like it starts with the ladder which I'm not gonna do the ladder here let's see if I can do anything else yes I'm gonna go ahead and do step 16 it's I think the last one I can do before having to go out there and all that one is is putting these guys on I don't know if I'll keep this cushion on just because I think it's gonna get wet and we'll stay wet, but we'll we'll leave it on for now and see. That's all I can do in the garage. We will bring this out to where I'm going to set it up. And I will show you all how I finish putting the ladder on and install this thing. I'm out in the woods, and that is the tree that I'm going to be putting my stand on. So I've brought out the stand here, and we will continue building it. Alright, so you need the ladder section number four, which is this guy. It says it has a number associated with it, but I don't see the number on here. And then you need two U-brackets, and we'll take step 10 hardware. And it looks like these are using the smaller bolts. And your bolts are going to go 
from the outside in. So it has a mark on here that says this side faces the tree. So we'll flip that over. And then you'll slide your bracket over it like that. So you can go ahead and tighten that down. And then we'll do the other side. So that is step 10. So step 11 is taking the two ladder braces, number nine, installing those with the seat section. So this is your ladder brace, you have two of them. And so these are gonna go like this, there. They want you to put the bolt from the inside. I'm gonna do this other side next, and then I'll tighten them all up. That is step 11. So step 12 is pretty simple. It's just taking uh, the other sections. So you start with section three and you'll slip that into section four here. Again, make sure the side that says facing tree is facing the tree. In my instance, it's down. And you're not putting the bolts in yet. You're just putting the, the ladder parts in. And then you'll take section two and go ahead and put that into this section here. And then you take section one and install that here as well. So that is all number 12 is. Step 13, you're gonna take some more of those U, U brackets and you're gonna start bolting the legs together. So we're just gonna come in here with these U brackets and do the same thing you did on the top section. That is step 13. Step 14 is locate adjustable tree brace. Install tree brace under the ladder using two screws. So I think I may have to flip this over now to do this piece. And it says you're installing it into ladder section two. It's gonna be the second from the bottom. And this has some of those orange washers again. So I think it's gonna go your bolt, a washer, through here, then another washer, then through your ladder, and then a washer and a nut. And it should go on the inside of the ladder. All right, so that's done. So now you'll go to step 15, and that is taking your number 13 tree brace, which is this guy here with the rigid edge on it. And you're gonna install the bolt from the top going towards the ground. And this has adjustable holes in it. I don't know if you can see that. So depending on your size of your tree, you can put different size holes here. And then you'll just put your wing nut on it and tighten that down. And the last step was 16, which was putting on the pad and stuff, which we did at the barn. So guys, that is pretty much all you need to know to actually install or set this up. I am going to see if I can get it on this tree. I'll, uh, depending how it goes, I'll show a video of me installing it on this tree as well. But make sure you do it safely. You wear the harness if it requires it, and you follow the instructions. I don't think I'm doing that myself. I uh, don't want to get hurt. So on this one, uh, I think we do need two or three people to do it. So I'm just going to set it, leave it here until I can get uh, my dad to come up and help me with this. But uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If I actually get a chance to video me installing it on the tree with my dad, I will... Uh, post another video. I'll leave the, the video in the description below as well if I do that. I was hoping I was going to be able to get it installed up there today, but it's just not really possible. It's just me doing it. So stay tuned and I will try and do a video of us installing this. Thanks for watching and see y'all next week.